Huge game on Wednesday regarding the race for a top four. Chelsea take on Arsenal. Chelsea favourites going into this tie. Arteta's side have fallen by the wayside over recent weeks. After all that momentum they built up, Robbo, it seems to have all gone wrong. Where? Uh, well, their squad isn't quite good enough. They've lost uh, their left back, who's a good player, Tierney, so he's not been in the side, and he gave them a lot of drive going forward down the left-hand side. Tommy Yasu, I thought, did really well at right back. He's been out for a while. And, of course, Lacazette has been in and out the side. So Nketiah has been playing at centre-forward in the last game, which I don't think he's quite good enough to play for Arsenal. And there's always been a lack of real structure about they play. When they play well, they can play very well. They play on the counter-attack, they've got quick players. But when they're not playing well, they can be quite open. They're easy to play against. And that's been the case in the last two or three games. Can they turn it around now? Can they get I don't think they're going to turn it around against Chelsea. Chelsea look as if they found their mojo a little bit again after the embarrassment of the first leg of the Real Madrid yeah. game. They came out, they battled Southampton. They uh, performed really well and Madrid didn't win. Uh, wasn't a brilliant game at, at uh, Wembley. Brilliant performance from them, but they controlled it enough and were the better side. I'll add another player into... The two fullbacks for Arsenal have been huge, but but Thomas Partey as well, for, since mm. I think the Crystal Palace game, that's two and a half games. Yeah. They can't they can't afford to not have, have him in the side because they haven't got a replacement in there to protect that back four. And for all those reasons, I just cannot... See, I can see Arsenal now losing four in the row. I, I, I just can't because I think Chelsea are just going to be too strong for them. How do you stop this if you're Arteta? I don't think you can. You know, I think the biggest problem recently has been putting the ball in the net. Right. And he can't make changes. He doesn't have options to change it. So you can't change it. <laughs> because, you know, you, Martinelli, you can't rely on to put the, put, put the ball in the back of the net. Saka, you can't rely on him either for that. Like it has got two goals all year, something, like, something crazy like that. Mm -hmm. Odegaard, yes, he scored a great goal a couple of weeks ago, but it was too little, too late. And Ketia, as Robo says, isn't good enough. Yeah. So how do you change it? You know, you look at Chelsea, how do they change it? Well, they've got options. Sure. That Arsenal just don't have. Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content and live streaming, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.